Anzac Day is one of the most important days of the year for Australians and New Zealanders, but is also one of the most important days on our rugby league calendar. It's our chance to reflect, remember, and pay tribute to the many thousands of young men who have fought and died on the field of battle. By the time war was declared in Australia, there was a patriotic fervour had built up. I don't think anybody at that stage would have had any inkling of just how big and how catastrophic that war turned out to be. The footballers of the time, a lot of them viewed it as a, as a great um, experience and a, and a great stunt, they called it over in England. It was, a, it was the time of their lives. They thought it was a, a big game. And in fact, one journalist described it as the greatest game of all, the war. Rugby league at all levels has been affected by the horrors of war. In small rural communities, in larger towns, and in the major cities across Australia and New Zealand. Certainly in the Glebe Club, by 1916, there were 66 Glebe first, second and third graders enlisted. By the end of the war, 95. Well, there were two junior league players who won the Victoria Cross, the highest honour that any soldier can win in the Empire during the First World War. George Julian Howe from Enfield in Sydney and Paddy Bugden from Alstonville near Lismore. Stan Carpenter was one of the original uh, Newcastle players who played in the, the Sydney Metropolitan Premiership in 1908 and 09. He was the captain of the Newcastle team. They used to travel to Sydney every weekend by train. After enlisting uh, with the AIF, he was a stretcher bearer. Uh, he, he was at the landing at Gallipoli. He was recommended for um, a Victoria Cross on two occasions, once there and once in France. Although we don't pretend what you see here is simply a rugby league story, it does give an insight into the way global events rippled through our sport. And in many ways, it has helped to shape the sport into what it is today. The duration of the war uh, was one of great political turbulence and class conflict on a scale uh, unique in Australian history. Frank was leading the scouting group and unfortunately he was uh, hit by a sniper in the head and was, was killed. And obviously it's had a big effect on my family and my, and, uh, my brothers and sisters and my children now um, to know that, you know, we had someone who went and fought for Australia for us and, you know, kept us free to live as we are today. In sharing these stories, we can ensure that they are never, ever forgotten. As a code, we will always honour and remember them. <laughs>